Guys, today we are breaking down the trailer for Tiger Rao. Sorry, Tiger Nageswara Rao. Okay, so I have already reacted to the trailer itself. The video is on my Telugu channel. Okay, so guys, every video that is a different language will be in my different language um, channel. So we have a ch channel for Telugu, Kannada, Hindi, Malayalam, and Tamil. Okay? Did I say all of them? So the Telugu trailer reaction is in the Telugu channel. Here, we're going to talk about the breakdown. So think like this. Everything that has a different language, like language audio. The trailer has Telugu audio, so it's going for the Telugu channel. Here, we're doing a breakdown, so it doesn't really have audio, so it's coming here to the main channel. So everybody can understand. You understand? Let's go. Let's take a look. So, this starts off with an auction, and they're selling... Wait, let me make this smaller, because it's too big. There we go. So they're selling the rail sta railway station. In my expert opinion, if somebody is buying or selling in a railway railway station, it means that they are very rich. So this is basically an auction for the rich. We, we see that there are only three people sitting down and the others are standing. Some are sitting on the floor. So these are the leaders. And I believe that... Um, in this scene, we can see that there are three different gangs um, because there are people standing behind one leader, behind another leader, behind another leader. So I think this is a, a meeting of three different um, strong groups and they're buying property. So I think that's um, basically to show a power move. Courage alone isn't enough for stealing. Sometimes you need intelligence too. So basically, this guy is coaching um, a lot of children into um, the crime world. Okay. Um, this is a movie, by the way. <laughs> Just for the algorithm not to think it's, it's something. Um, inspired from true rumors. I like this phrase because um, inspired by true rumors means that we don't know if it's a true story, but this movie was inspired by the idea of this happening. So it's rumors. It's not true, but the idea of the rumors made it um, made it seem like it was real. Does that make sense? If that makes sense. An appeal to the cops. So here we see a shot with um, the light. I like this kind of like silhouette hiding the, the character. This gives it a very cinematic and mysterious look to it. The Sirkar Express running from Akinada and Madras to Madras. We see a train. I like this. Do you see? Look, this is so if we go back a little bit, this is a close up shot of his of the back of his head. This is a very close up shot. And um, we can see that it's more predominantly to the right. So this gives it more kind of like an intense feel to it. And then after we see a wide shot. Ooh, now I just noticed there are some people climbing on the, the train on the left hand side. Right down here. If you take a look at that. Okay. What happened? No, that's not what I want. Okay, here we go. And then here we have a wide shot with a, a zoom in, like a, a, a dolly zoom. <clears throat> Still showing the silhouette. And the interesting thing is that um, we can recognize this. This is Ravi Teja from the back of his head, right? And they're talking about the cops. And I like the visuals here. Um, they're talking about the, the interception of the train, right? I like the the fact that there's one major light that is giving the silhouette effect, but we can still see him. There are also a few lights showing the, the radio and the technology on the side. So you see the blue, red, green, 
and orange lights. And also, if you look closely, he is in front of someone. And then we have the reveal of this character, which I, I feel like I know this actor. <clears throat> and then it reveals that he's talking to someone, but he doesn't know who he is talking to. Then we have a few action scenes. Bro, the guy got hit with a mach... That's not a machete, that's an axe on the face. Look at that. Wow. Ow. That was nice. Look at that. And I like the the effect here. You can literally see it instantly cutting him. He has hunger for power. Look at that. Guys, this is a pan-India film, right? So what do you think of it? We're, what are we thinking? Then we have him with a lot of women. So this also shows power. In the beginning, it showed power of money, wealth. Now it showed him like a, a player power of of influence of you know getting the women he's greedy for women so he is um he's a player he has money so this doesn't really it doesn't really shout hero it's more like a, an anti-hero then we see the gold he has the lust for money so this man is very materialistic here is a um, where they pull their their cards they show that this is from the makers of the national award winning the cashmere files so this is the flex showing that um this movie is is accredited by people who know what they're doing and i like this type of shot also because you literally see the lights that they're using you you see that they're using lights in fact and normally the lights go behind the camera but these type of shots it's kind of like a shotgun light it, it it gives like importance to to the scene now over here i don't know what's going on because he hit one person and the other but the other one mimicked look at that he hits one man the other one <laughs> mimics the exact motion <laughs> i don't know how that happened so i think that man is controlled the, their bodies are united and then we have the fire, the entry scene on the motorcycle. This is very, it's very similar to KGF, like Rocky motorbike. And it kind of like feels like he's going through like ruins, right? But I, I know that KGF didn't invent it. I'm just saying that that's my reference. I always give a warning before I hit someone or steal something. I like this type of shots where they use um, water. So he's stepping into water. It gives it a nice different style. So we can see that this movie has a lot of fight scenes. I, I like that. We see the explosion with the fires. And this is a very classic um, bad guy or not bad guy, but what's the word? Cool guy, cool guy entrance. So you see that um, he's acting all cool with an explosion behind him. We see his friends saving other friends. So I think this is kind of like a, a successful mission. So I like this. And then there's a quick edit of showing all the different characters, different actors that are in the movie. This man, I know him from some movie, which I can't remember exactly what character he was playing. Well, what was this actor playing in which movie? Also, we see an entry scene of this um, actor. Oh, no, wait. I'm pressing the wrong button. That's why it's going faster. Oh, sorry for being so dumb. Okay, I thought it was a quick edit. My goodness, what is wrong with me? I'm going frame by frame, but I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay, he has written so much crime literature in the span of 25 years. So, you can see that he's not even the... Well, he, he he's not the villain, because he can't be the villain, but he's an anti-hero. I like this muzzle effect, you know, to make a muzzle effect, it, it's so nice. Uh, I, I like the editing process of the muzzle effect because in one frame, you have the clear image of the gun. The other frame, you put the, the, the smoke with um, color grading to make it yellow. And then you light up the brightness of all the other side. And that makes it a, a nice muzzle effect. So you see, you only need two frames 
to show this and the sparks over there. So I, I like the editing of, of muzzle effects. And you can see this is also a quick edit. We're going frame by frame. So you can see that there are th a few um, edits here. Bro, I like this um, when the the gun gives sparks. So he's literally holding like a pistol. And you can see that that's a very gangster move. So it's not a modern gun. I like that type of thing. Um, okay, we see the entry scene of the... The hero heroine. I like this also. They they like to use a lot of silhouettes. So we have a lot of backlight showing the background. The the front light is not turned on until we see the reveal of the character. So I like that also. They play a lot with uh, mystery in this movie. So I'm really enjoying the the color grading and and what they're doing here. Um, if you watched the trailer, here you see that they changed the pace in music um, and the music goes into something more romantic. So this is kind of like the, the character arc that we receive. I like this the fact that she slaps him but his face doesn't move at all. Just his hair. But his face doesn't move. He does blink though. If he didn't blink, that would be more OP. He has a necklace also, which changes interesting changes in each scene what does that probably symbolize all men ogle at a girl's figure okay so we can see that he is a player we already know he's a player we already know he lusts for women and money and now he is finding a a love um interest that can change his life <laughs> so I think she's gonna be his his savior let's say I like this um, this is either a drone shot or a helicopter shot I think it's more of a drone shot because it's cheaper nowadays to use dr drones but I like the color grading on this you can see that they they used um, kind of like a sepia tone to make this a little bit more um, dramatic and give it a more traumatic and cold feel to it. Did you know that these type of scenes over here, here's a curiosity, these type of scenes, they are actually filmed during the day. Because if you film this during the night, you won't be able to get the nice color that you're, you're looking for. So these scenes over here, they are filmed, most of them, because it's more expensive for you to film during the night. Because um, if you film it during the night, you need a lot of light. And uh, it, it's it's harder for you to get the right, um, um, the right configurations and the right color. It, it's very hard for, for you to get like the perfect color. So what they normally do is they film this during the day and they color grade it to look like it was night. So they, they bring down the, the you know, um, they, they take away the, the, the light they color graded to make it look like a night. So I, I, I like that also. I'm not saying this was the case because there are some scenes that are filmed at night also, but there is a technique where you can film during the day, color grade it to look like night. That's nice. Um, we're not talking too much about the story. We're talking more about the visuals. So this feels like he is the, the richest guy of, he's the main villain. How can you claim the money be yours when I hold the rights to... Wow, he just kicked the lady like that. So you can see that this guy is a very mean man, very bad man. This is... Uh, wow. Bro can see this is a, also a violent film look at that so i like the change of pace during the the trailer because we see like the first part of the trailer i think this was very well scripted because editors also have a script for trailers so the first part of the trailer they showed the the characters intro and then they showed a character arc 
and now they're showing the situational problem that they have to solve and who they're going to fight against so we saw the how mean the guy is the main villain so first we established this man is the anti-hero he is the toughest man in the trailer and then we see the he the the villain and he is um doing some types of um violent acts right so now we see that there the stakes are higher so this is the type of wow slow motion i like the slow motion i'm just afraid i'm gonna see up his his pants <laughs> so i like the the stakes becoming higher based on the the whole fact um that we are introduced we are shown a new villain and then there is one man so you see they show the problem the solution oh wow here we see a, a little bit more of the oh wow is that half of him and he still got shot that man's motto of life is to kill him so we see kind of like the story being built already so we saw the issues being shown to us and then we, we saw who can bring the solution so i like these type of things and this man comes back again well not again this man is revealed for the very first time the first time we saw this i pressed the wrong button um so the whole um style of movie wow you see this guy has no he's not afraid of shooting authority anyways the whole costume design is um showing that this movie is not modern this movie is maybe from the 80s 90s i don't know i think it's more of the 90s gangster movie type of style get the shoot at sight orders ready oh you see he has no mercy no tolerance this is a drone shot i like this it's always nice to to see a forced scene because wow and the the detail of the bullet i love this this detail it, it, look he, he actually got hit but the bullet like it, it went just passed by him so i like these type of these small details that they add oh bro that's sick so you see these type of um trailers they they show you a lot of the movie and i think the idea is to hype up the whole um, movie itself so you can go and watch it and when we look frame by frame we can see that there are so many characters that were introduced in the trailer something that we sometimes miss while watching it this is another character and normally when movies have so many characters it means it's a long movie it has different storylines it has plot twists the story of Stuart, Stuart Puran Nageswara Rao ended there. So we see that the, the trailer itself is a full story, isn't it? So we see that he went to jail. And remember, this is based on true rumors, right? This is inspired in true rumors. But that was where the story started. Okay. So this is basically a redemption arc, I guess. Like he went to jail and then he changed some of his um his ways i guess so this is where he becomes the hero but who is this is that him younger apt apt is andhra pradesh Telangana. is that correct And then we have um, the action scenes. Bro, this for a trailer, yo, this is crazy. Look at that. Bro. So you can see that this movie is not it is not like for the faint hearted. It is it is quite graphic. Okay, I mean, so far so good. It looks like a, a nice film. Hmm. <clears throat> so, 
So if you guys want to see my trailer reaction, first time reacting to it, you can go to my my channel. Bro, they have a pregnant woman over there. This is Tiger Nagiswara Rao trailer breakdown. If you want the reaction, it's on my other channel, the Telugu channel. There is something you must know before you kill him in an encounter. See, showing like every scene, they show the dominance of power of each character. And th this type of shot where the main character or the main um, the main subject is in the middle shows how they are um how they are important so you can see that there are people in the background but the way it's framed you can see it's leveled this is a <clears throat> this is a technique that they use for symmetry um you can see that the the house in the background is very symmetrical it's very leveled it's almost on his shoulders and it's almost in the center of the screen you can see that the subject itself, him, he is in the center of the screen and also um, his head is almost to the center of the screen. So it's not too much space above and his head is not too too far um, to the top. So this shows that he is the main subject of, of the, the, the scene. It's interesting because when, when I think that's Ravi Teja was coming out of the hut, he looks younger. Then we go back to the, the train scene where they're running on the train. So, yo, we see that this is going to be full of stunt stunts, full of music. I think this is a, a very, um, a, a very satisfying trailer. I think people who watch this will feel the goosebumps, will feel the action, will feel the drama. Over here, you can see that this is Ravi Teja himself doing the stunts, right? Uh, at least it looks like it. We have an overhead drone shot also showing the action and then a drone shot also following the action. It's funny because um, in this forest scene, if you notice carefully, the first time we saw the forest scene, the drone was co going towards the action. So the people were coming this way the drone was going that way, so the drone was approaching the action. Now, in this scene, we see the drone is following the action. So it's basically um, the contrast. Bro, this movie has a lot of elements. It, it, it reminds me of RRR also. This scene, uh, I will be honest with you, I can clearly identify the, the chroma key. It's, it's not... I don't know if it's not very well rendered. It, it it does it feels like the background and it feels like the movements. Let me see in 4K. It feels like the movements. They they are let's see. They're very animated. I don't know. I think in 4K it looks better. Yeah, 4K it looks much more natural. But still, there's something about it that feels animated. But that's not an issue, that's not a problem at all. And then we have the title screen. India's biggest thief. Tiger not Giswara Rao. So this is the also the slogan, India's biggest thief. This guy is a serious threat. Andhra Pradesh map. So here also we see the same thing. I like this type of shot because um, the main character is always in the middle. Beef up the um, the PM security. So is, I guess this is the prime minister based on the office, based on the map. Also, I like how the light is, is, um, is in the background. You can see that there is natural night light coming in. Uh, it looks like the sun is coming in. Now I don't know if that's actually a natural light or if they're 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 showing a, a flashlight, but in any case, I like the visuals there. Also, an overhead shot. Yeah, the the police that PM's personal security. So this is a national threat. So 
Interesting. No, but I think I think he is not the prime minister. I think this man is the prime minister that's going in, and this man is trying to save the prime minister. I think he's head of security. So you can see that he is a national threat. So yeah, he's the anti-hero. He is he's not a entire completely villain, but he's the anti-hero hero. He almost looks directly at us. That's kind of like an intimidating um, technique when they look directly at us, almost. And that's it. That's the end of the trailer, guys. And then we have the, the end, end scene here where we see the credits. That was my very thorough frame-by-frame -frame breakdown. And let me know what you thought of it. If you guys enjoy movies as much as I do, let me know in the comments. If you want to see only my trailer reactions, go on to my Telugu channel. You can see it there. Do you think this movie is going to be Pan India? Anyways, I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break. Always fight. Never quit. Do it right.